so hello everybody we are here in the new topic that is uh, anti seizure anti epileptic and anti convulsant why i have given three names we got certain logic for that one that means in certain books you will find as anti seizure drugs or you will find as anti epileptic drugs or you will find as anti convulsant also right so uh, these three names anti seizure means what these are the drugs those who are using against the seizure anti epileptic those who are using against the epilepsy and anti convulsant those who are using against the convulsions right so we'll be coming one by one regarding this each and an individual terms but before that we must know the three terms are almost interrelated and uh, but not exactly same but the drugs those who are used are almost the same that is why if you study the same class of drugs for this uh, seizure epilepsy as well as the convulsions right. here we must know this three word like seizure epilepsy as well as convulsions right i think here you have seen in these pictures now first before studying epilepsy and convulsion we must know about this seizure as per the definition seizure it is a paroxysmal abnormal discharge at very high frequency from an aggregate of neurons in the cerebral cortex right so this is the diagram of the cerebral cortex we know just below the skull we have the cerebral cortex right both are uh, the same but we have this two different diagrams here i am showing the overall cerebral cortex here we have the lobes frontal lobe parietal occipital temporal etc right and here we can find certain points here you see motor points here it is written leg arm hand lips right tongue and a swallowing getting my points now here if you see the cerebral cortex we have this uh, left hemisphere as well as right cerebral hemispheres and here also we can see right now auditory cortex speech center that means what the cerebral cortex is responsible for controlling of so many function it is a kind of switch it is a kind of switch right currently i'm speaking there is a contraction of contraction and relaxations of of the of the muscle of my lips right now here one point special point speech center no this point is activated that is why i can have the speech getting my points if my left hand is working that means this point is activated if my right point right hand is uh, acting that means this point is activated so in the cerebral cortex we got different different points which is responsible for points or you can say certain group of neurons points means what certain group of neurons right in case of the electricity we are saying this one is a switch if you switch on something there will be you know the glowing of the light maybe switch on switching on the tv switching on the fans etc but in our body in case of the cerebral hemispheres we are not saying this one is a switch right so we are saying this one is a i mean uh, i mean various group of neurons okay this is the basic anatomy and physiology of the cerebral hemisphere but whenever a seizure will occur that means there is a paroxysmal abnormal discharge paroxysmal mane all of a sudden suddenly all of a sudden abnormal which is not normal discharge means what discharge means discharging of the neuro transmitters or we can say this discharging of the action potentials at very high frequency very speed right from an aggregate of neurons in the cerebral cortex okay we know for functioning of any part of the body there has to be a flowing of the flowing of the action potentials hai na there has to be initiation of the initiation of the graded potential now this graded potential will be converting to the action potentials so while originating any graded potentials or action potentials what will happen there is a word called depolarization we studied already in depolarization what will happen sodium channel will enter right so the voltage 
will be increased maybe from minus 70 to plus 30 or something like that that is the limit plus 30 plus 40 that is the limit but suddenly if it beyond if it becomes beyond plus 30 or plus 40 maybe plus 200 plus 300 and that time this is the abnormal discharge or which is paroxysmal that means which is occurring all of a sudden okay which is occurring all of a sudden that time what will happen certain changes will be there certain symptoms will be there in our body if you think of the electricity if there is a high vol voltage all of a sudden maybe the tv will be spoiled or the tv will be burst maybe the light will be burst maybe the fan will be you know um, you can say the fan will be spoiled and uh, these things will be there because in case of electricity also we have certain voltage 220 to 240 it cannot be 440 it cannot be 500 it cannot be 1000 voltage everything will be broken down right so in our body also we got certain i mean that uh, limit of voltage in case of this action potentials so due to so many conditions suddenly if the voltage of the action potential increase at any point of area here also it can happen here also it can happen here also it can happen in the whole cerebral hemisphere also it can <coughs> happen getting my point now whenever it is happening we got same uh, symptoms in terms of the I mean uh, peripheral parts of the body right if here if there is a paroxysmal abnormal discharge then what will happen this right hand will be affected if here if it occurs then this left hand will be affected if here if it occurs that means the speech will be affected you know? you know? so if here it is uh, occurring that means the visual visual uh, activity will be affected you know? so uh, this way i mean uh, there is a sign and symptoms in the peripheral parts of the body getting my point this is what we call as a seizure you know like you can say sin contraction of the muscles sometimes you know sometimes sudden blinking of the eyelids and sometimes you'll find a person is you know sitting suddenly what is happening their lips are getting banded this is a part of this is a sign and symptoms of various kinds of seizures the seizures we have different classifications now epilepsy is the recurrent episodes of seizure seizure is normal seizure can happen at any point of our life okay the seizure is uh, very common in case of the infant in case of the children seizure is very common right whenever you'll be sleeping at night for a long time for a long time if you are watching laptop or if you are watching the cell phone if you are listening some kind of loud music so when you are sleeping no that time you will find certain jerking movements this is a kind of seizure this is a common but epilepsy is what it is a certain violent kind of seizures very violent first point second point it has to be uh, again and again when it has to occur again and again bar 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 seizure hoga that time we are saying this one is a epilepsy and, uh, and it should be non-febrile non-febrile money um, it should not be due to increase in the temperature of the body in general what happened in case of the infants when there is an increase in the body temperatures the, the infants or the kids are likely to get the seizure but this is not epilepsy right so epilepsy many uh, mean, means there has to be certain like um, neuronal problem here in the cerebral cortex 
और इट शुड बी अगेन एंड अगेन ऑकर्ड गेरिंग माई पॉइंट ओके नाउ नेक्स्ट वन इज अ कन्वर्शन कन्वर्शन इज नथिंग बट द इनवॉलेंटरी वायलेंट स्पैजमोडिक प्रोलॉन्ग कंसेंट्रेशन कंट्रेशन ऑफ स्केलेटल मसल्स राइट द पेशेंट्स मे बिकम अनकॉन्सियस देर इज ए जर्किंग मूवमेंट शेकिंग ऑफ हैंड शेकिंग ऑफ लिम्स है ना भर तो कपी थी हाथ बहुत जोर के जोर के कपी थी आई शो यू दिडियो दिस इज वॉट यू कॉल एज कन्वर्शन and this convulsion we can say it is a uh, one kind of symptom of the seizure okay it is a one kind of uh, sign and symptoms from this seizure or epilepsy but this is also correct without having epilepsy or seizure also the person can have convulsions or without having convulsion also the person can have epilepsy or seizure okay the seizure and epilepsy these are the terms which are used very interchangeably but the difference is epilepsy means bar 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 hona seizure means all of a sudden or bahut dino ke baad kabhi ek bar ho gaya right convulsion means that jerking movements which is involuntary or violent spasmodic mane ki muscle contractions you know and prolonged it should be in a prolonged manner getting my point so to treat this kind of seizure epilepsy or convulsions we got certain group of drugs okay we'll be discussing in the next upcoming slides now here is the video you can see uh the how how seizure occurs or what Locking it look like when a seizure occurs but let me tell you this video i have collected from internet and it is for like uh, educational purpose only you see the lips are lips are slightly getting bent You see, lips are slightly getting bent. Here you can see. Her mother is trying to support her. When a seizure occurs, this is the things we have to do to support the patient. That's good. Okay. We do not. We should not try to restrain. Suppose her lips are bending. we should not try to correct her lips it can cause more damage instead what we can do we can remove the the type of hard materials which will be you know uh, which will lie near to the patient like it may be the chairs any knife or any you know the metal things we should try to remove that one you see starting you see You see. That area is affected. That area of the cerebral hemisphere where there is a control of the lips of I mean the muscle of the lips it is affected. Now see blinking of the eyelids. Now slowly you will have the convulsions. Convulsions. See the convuls convulsions has started. Relax. 
See, convulsion has started already. Shaking of hands, shaking of hands. See, violent. Okay. Now she's getting violent. Shaking of hands. can observe the time for how long the seizure is persisted the seizure has been persisted see now automatically she has come down to normal Can you? Can you look at me? Are you okay? Are you okay yet? Are you okay? Can you talk? Let me get you a pillow. this one. Hmm. Breathe through your nose. 
Into your nose. Out to your mouth. That's it. Hmm. That's it. Keep doing that. Into your nose. And out of your mouth. In. To your nose. It's okay. Into your nose. Out of your mouth. Into your nose. That's it. You're doing good. Don't hang on. Let go. There you go. You're doing good. It's all right. It's okay. Oh gosh. Okay. Okay. Here, let me wipe you up. Are you okay? No. Okay. Maybe the, these are horm hormonal. It's exhausting, huh? You alright? Yeah. You feel like it's calming down? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna give you a puppy. All right, so this is that uh, the patient I have shown you who was suffering from the seizure. Now epilepsy is what? If there is a again and again occurrence of the seizure. Okay. So first of all, just mainly we have to focus about the seizure because if you can control the seizure, automatically epilepsy and that convulsions will be controlled. Now this is the types of seizures. It is mainly of two types, generalized as well as partial. In generalized seizure, what will happen? Both the hemisphere will be affected and whole, whole area will be affected. Whole area will be affected. Or, uh, the generalized seizures that uh, cerebral cortex will also be affected as well as that uh, you know uh, thalamus hypothalamus we studied in the last last few few uh, chapters so they can also be affected whole so more precisely we can say whole brain will be affected okay so seizure can originate at any point of time and it will surround here and there every every portion of the cerebral hemispheres now in case of the partial seizures what we have it can it is limited to the 
you know uh, we can say uh, one 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 area of the cerebral hemisphere maybe here also maybe here also maybe here also one area of the cerebral hemispheres so if this area is affected that means the function which is associated with the area it will be hampered not the other functions this is what we call as partial in general whole hemisphere left and right along with that um, diencephalon thalamus hypothalamus and in case of the partial only the one part of the cerebral hemispheres all right now this uh, generalized seizure we have so many types grand mal or tonic clonic petit mal or absence okay myoclonic akinetic clonic as well as tonic now just a brief introductions i would like to put in case of grand mal or uh, tonic clonic seizures as this one is a generalized seizure so whole i mean hemisphere will be whole cerebral cortex will be affected okay so before occurrence of this kind of seizure there is a aura aura mine aura mane special sign will be there by seeing the patient initially you will come to know you will come to know that the, the patient is going to have the seizures for example in in case of the uh, video last video that you can see um uh, in in this topic that girl initially directly she she didn't have you know the jerking movements and violent movements and uh, etc okay initially she is having slightly bending of the lips this is a kind of aura a signal okay next they will have the tonic phase with epileptic cry tonic mane ki tone muscle tone legs will be extended okay mane khomia jitu ami pura hat bori fit ho jawa boli ko that legs and hands will be extended because of the you know high tone of the muscle the muscle tone will be extreme and it will be associated with the epileptic cry epileptic cry means uh, as uh, what will happen that laryngeal muscles will be contracted okay and bending of the face muscles that is why there is a sound productions like crying but actually the patient is not crying but the sound mane will occur like like crying right next it will be converted to the clonic convulsions you have seen in case of the patient jerking movements right jerking movements will be there now if it very severe then the patient may go to coma also ठीक है, the patient may go to coma also. It can last about 15 to 30 minutes. Now, uh, whenever the patient will be recovered, there is a stupor, S T U P O R, stupor. ठीक है, that means that means a condition where the patient is uh, half conscious. We can say not, I mean, um, um, properly conscious. We can say the half conscious. next one no we can say amnesia will be there that means loss of memory mental confusions you know then we can say certain depressions can be there incontinence incontinence can be there as well as some you know exhaustions we can say the patient will be exhausted right this kind of symptoms will be there whenever the patient will be recovered after this episode of the seizure theek okay? hai now next one word we have status epilepticus it's very important why it is important because uh sometimes this grand mal seizures occurs repeatedly again and again okay and uh, with no recovery of this consciousness getting my point again and again that means we can say it is a severe excessive form of we can say uh, tonic clonic seizures is a life threatening conditions the patient will become unconscious but what will happen again and again the seizure will occur it is a kind of clinical emergency also 
ठीक है ओके सो हियर वन वर्ड वी हैव टू से एपिलेप्टिक फोकस एपिलेप्टिक फोकस मैंने कि इट इज ए एरिया वेर देर इज ए जेनरेशन ऑफ द यू नो मैंने डेट वन सीजर वेर द सीजर विल बी जेनरेटेड सपोज हियर द सीजर इज जेनरेटेड एंड इट विल माइग्रेट to different areas okay now this area will be said is a epileptic focus okay now next one is a petit mal or absence in that petit mal or absence seizures there is no aura okay no symptoms of aura you we can find there will be no loss of consciousness the patient will be awake okay and uh, the seizure will last only for few seconds getting my point so it's not a very uh, lengthy seizure we can see and uh, there is no confusion or amnesia whenever the patient will be recovered getting my point but uh, here actually what is happening that subtle bilateral motor symptom man subtle mane ki which is very difficult to distinguish to identify some motor symptoms will be there like you know rapid blinking of eyelids chewing movements small clonic jerks these things we can observe theek okay? hai now uh, the another type of seizure that is the myoclonic myoclonic seizure the best example we have whatever uh, i mean we got you know sudden jerking movements during sleep okay sudden jerking movements during sleep it is the bilateral epileptic uh, the mane that one seizure which is occurred all of a sudden and there is a brief skeletal muscle contraction or it can involve the whole body as well as a smaller part ठीक है मायोक्लोनिक गेटिंग माई पॉइंट ठीक है सो वॉट इज हैपनिंग हियर ऑनली दैट मासल कंस्ट्रक्शन विल बी दियर नेक्स्ट वन इज अ काइनेटिक ए काइनेटिक मीन्स सडन लॉस ऑफ पोस्टरल टॉन ठीक है इफ वी आर मेंटेनिंग ए पोस्टर देर इज अ सडन टोन getting my point so if there is a loss of the tone the patient may fall down or it may the patient may bend to one side getting my point so the patients may be unconscious maybe but not in all the conditions theek okay? hai so next one is the clonic seizure clonic what is happening repetitive muscle jerk you are awake you know everything you can listen to everything but you got certain uh, muscle jerking of your hand suppose your hands are jerking suppose your feet uh, i mean foot are uh, foot is jerking one leg is jerking this is what you call as clonic and tonic we have you know that uh, rigid violent muscle contraction okay and uh, it may be associated with the uh we can say stiff and fixed extended limbs the limbs will be extended it will be it may be fixed and it is stiff this is what we call as tonic seizures all right so next come to the partial seizure it is a simple partial seizure complex as well as partial seizure evolving to secondary generalized seizures ठीक है सो इन दैट सिंपल पार्शियल सीजर ऑलरेडी आई टोल्ड यू देर इज ए इन्वॉल्वमेंट ऑफ द एनी पार्ट ऑफ द सेरिब्रल हेमिसफेयर नॉट द होल सेरिब्रल हेमिसफेयर विल बी एफेक्टेड सो इन दैट सिंपल पार्शियल सीजर व्हाट विल हैपन देर इज ए यूनिलेटरल क्लोनिक मूवमेंट्स ठीक है हुच इज मैं इन जेनरल हुच इज इन ओरिजिनेटेड इन वन ग्रुप ऑफ मसल्स मे बी हैंड्स right and it will move to the adjacent groups maybe from hands to the lower part then slightly to the feet okay and uh, the mouth thumb the toe the affected muscles 
सिंपल पार्शियल सीजर्स नेक्स्ट वन इज अ कॉम्प्लेक्स ठीक है विच इज ऑल्सो सेड एज साइकोमोटर एपिलेप्सी मेनली ओरिजिनेटेड इन द टेम्पोरल और फ्रंटल लोप और दे आर मे बी पार्शियल लॉस ऑफ कंसियसनेस ठीक है सो हियर एक्चुअली द साइकोमोटर द टर्म इज साइकोमोटर इट इज हैपनिंग ड्यू टू दू नो सम काइंड ऑफ साइक्रेटिक डिसऑर्डर्स getting my point and there may be association of the you know automatism automatism mane if if somebody is doing something unknowingly unconsciously somebody is doing something getting my point a very example good example is given in the book for example uh, i mean the person can get up he can you know put his clothes he can start walking even drive a car also unknowingly but if you ask him if you in i mean give a certain order but he is not going to listen theek okay? hai and later on when the patient will be recovered he do not have any kind of memories also the next one is a partial seizure evolving to the secondary generalized seizures now this is the small i mean the i can say uh, partial the type of partial seizure which can contribute which can convert to the generalized seizures if it is not treated i mean the tonic clonic mainly tonic clonic seizures understood so finally we have another classification actually it's not classified we say it is the unclassified seizures febrile as well as infantile spasm mainly it is occurring in case of the kids febrile when a, uh, when the children are having high fever they may got certain seizure theek okay? hai infantile spasm uh, you can say is a kind of progressive mental retardations mm, gradually when the mental activity is retarded theek hai pagalpan jisko bolte hain hum theek hai and uh, this can be of you know that uh, infantile spasm can be of tonic clonic convulsions of short durations theek okay. hai and of course it looks like it looks like you know frightening but usually benign theek okay. hai usually benign now this is all about the classification of the seizures right come to the etiology etiology can be genetic or hereditary we know brain lesions mainly due during birth trauma is if there is any injury of the brain if there is certain infections like cerebral meningitis and brain abscesses certain metabolic disorders like lack of oxygen alkalosis hypoglycemia hypocalcemia hyperpyrexia vitamin b6 deficiency hmm, sudden withdrawal of many drugs of abuse like barbiturates alcohol you know viewing television also tv disco flashes and listening to the full blast pop music it can lead to the seizure it can lead to the seizures okay and if there is a again and again occurrence of the seizures what to say this one is a epilepsy getting my point see our body always have certain defense mechanisms in case of seizure also we got a defense mechanism which is nothing but the adenosine theek okay, hai it is said as the endogenous anti seizure substance this adenosine this adenosine will inhibit the spontaneous firing of cells in virtually all areas of the brain including cerebral cortex that is why you will find when there is a occurrence of the seizures after certain time automatically the person has become normal this adeno sign is saving us from the particular episodes of seizures okay endogenous which is secreted inside our body now next is the classification of drugs and mechanism of actions you see 
in different books the classifications are given in different way but here i am classified as per the mechanism so that it is very easy for you to remember okay now the point is why there is a occurrence of the seizure we know our, our brain is controlled by one is a excitatory neuron second one is a inhibitory neurons both are under balance conditions okay so because of the balance activation of any any point of the cerebral cortex will be there but not excess activation because we have the we have the inhibitory neurons gaba activation will be there why because of this glutamate hai na excitatory neurons so there is a balance so in case of this seizure mainly what is happening there is a over activation of the excitatory neurons and over inhibition of the inhibitory neurons here you see postsynaptic here this is the excitatory this is the inhibitory excitatory neurons will cause the excitation if there is a over excitation we will have the seizure again inhibitory neurons will cause the inhibitions if it is again inhibited if this inhibitory neurons are inhibited that means that means seizure will be there okay so i have classified here as per the mechanism of actions first classification inhibition of use dependent voltage gated sodium channels we know the sodium channels are required for the transmission of the action potentials right we studied early how a action potential or how a impulse is carried through the neurons from dendrite to axons right so we have there is always influx of the sodium getting my point now these drugs what it will do they will block this kind of sodium channels getting my point actually what is happening suppose here just i'm saying suppose here a uh, cerebral cortex exist now the cerebral cortex will give the what it will do it will give the graded potentials now this graded potentials will be converted to the action potentials and it will move via this way okay when there is a over excitation of this kind of graded potentials what will happen there is a over opening of the sodium channels because of the repetitive firing of the neurons that means once sodium channel is open it cannot be, it's not getting any time for the closure automatically another new impulse is arriving again it's not getting any time for closure another impulse is arriving that means the sodium channels will, will remain opening for a longer period of time without closure now it can lead to the over release of this kind of over excitation of this kind of glutamate receptor i mean glutamate okay neurotransmitters and glut more, more glutamate will be released and it will bind here finally what will happen again over excitation and there is a seizure so what it is doing it is inhibiting the use dependent that is why we are saying this one is a use dependent okay if there is use of the sodium channels then only it is blocking if there is no use it will remain as same so there is a inhibition of the use dependent voltage gated sodium channel this one who will do this kind of drugs okay now next one is the enhancement of gaba ergic actions why because the gaba is getting decrease the inhibitory neurotransmitter is getting decrease right so this phenobarbital benzodiazepine we studied earlier it will bind with the specific site benzodiazepine binding site as well as uh, here it will bind in the gaba receptor benzodiazepine binding site as well as mane uh, that one barbiturates binding sites theek hai na then what it will do it will cause influx of chlorides next one is the inhibition of gaba trans aminase whatever the gaba will be released from the presynaptic gabaergic neuron 
this GABA transaminase can cause the metabolism. That means what? Less GABA will be available here. So this drug will block this GABA transaminase. Okay, no metabolism of GABA. Huge quantity of GABA will be available for binding with the GABA receptor. Inhibition of GABA uptake transporter. Again, like adrenaline and dopamine uptake, the GABA can also be uptaken and with the help of GABA reuptake transporter. So this is blocked by these drugs. If it is blocked, huge quantity of huge quantity of GABA will be available. Okay. So next one is the blockade of NMDA and AMP receptors because these are the excitatory receptors. If it is blocked, glutamate cannot bind. And a very uh, simple mechanism. Blockade of voltage gated N type calcium channels. Here. N type calcium channel. This calcium channels, I mean influx of calcium is responsible for degranulation of the vesicles so that the glutamate can be released less calcium chain influx then what will happen less degranulation less glutamate will be released okay next one is a selective binding to synaptic vesicular protein sv2a okay now this protein will lead to the degranulation of this vesicle now if the protein by uh, if the protein is inhibited there will be less degranulation less glutamate will be released okay next one is a uh, blocking the effects of neurotropic factors which is responsible for the excitation of the neurons okay that is why uh, it, uh, by this drug this excitation of the neuron will be blocked blockade of the voltage gated t type calcium channel one small calcium channel exists in the post synaptic neuron here okay, which is activated in a small current now this calcium channel can cause the excitation of this kind of receptors here it is exist i'm not i mean in this picture it's not available here in the post synaptic neuron it is exist Okay, so these drugs will block this one. So very simple mechanism I am telling you here. So individual drugs, I will just study of your own. Okay, thank you much.